leading off with May 1st, 2014. Alan Hansen and Gift Ngope let off a doubleheader at Erie with back-to-back -back home runs. It was the first time ever the Curve started a game with back-to-back -back homers. From leadoffs to walk-offs, the first walk-off win in Curve history occurred on May 2nd, 1999, when Tyke Redmond capped off a 5-4 victory with a solo homer against Bowie. A decade and a half later, on May 2nd, 2015, Josh Bell lifted the Curve to a 5-3 victory with a three-run walk-off homer against Erie. The Curve trailed 3-2 at the time of the game-winning knock. It was the first double-A homer of his career, and he drove in all five Curve runs in the game. Another big happening on May 2nd, this time in 2005, Brad Eldred smacked two home runs in his last game with the curve. Big Country finished his double-A career with 30 homers in just 60 games. Both triple plays in curve history took place in, in the month of May. The first one on May 2nd, 2001, and the most recent on May 27th, 2010. On May 7th and 8th, 2018, the Curve played consecutive games in under two hours against the Bowie Bay Sox. The series opener took just one hour and 51 minutes, the shortest nine inning game in PNG field history, and tied for the shortest in team history. Bowie won that game 2-0, but the Curve won 2-1 the following night with a gem by left-handed pitcher Brandon Waddell in a game that took one hour, 59 minutes. On May 19th, 2017, Montana Durapo became the Curve's all-time saves leader with his 30th career save. On May 9th, 2010, despite a loss against Erie in Altoona, Curve pitchers Rudy Owens, Michael Duby, and Ronald Uvido struck out 16 Seawolves for a new single-game franchise record. Owens fanned nine, Duby struck out four, and Uvido struck out three more. On May 15th, 2000, the Curve and the Pittsburgh Pirates played their first ever exhibition game at Blair County Ballpark. During the month of May, the Curve have hosted several notable MLB rehab assignments. Future MLB All-Star and World Series champ Charlie Morton made three of his four outings with the Curve in May 2013, and Neil Walker also made a rehab assignment during the same month. Jack Wilson returned to the Curve in 2008, Sean Casey suited up for Altoona in Erie in 2006, and Joe Musgrove in 2018. One of the Curve's greatest single-game performances happened in May 2010. On May 24th, Alex Presley set a single-game Curve record with eight RBIs and racked up 14 total bases with two homers, a triple, and a double. His eight RBIs surpassed Adam Heizu's single-game record of seven, which he did twice, including May 5th, 2000. The legend of Heizu, in fact, began in the month of May, 1999. On May 10th, Heizu signed with the Pirates and was assigned to Altoona. He debuted in Akron that night, went one for three, walked twice, and scored three times during a curve win. On May 14, 1999, Heisdu recorded the first five RBI game in team history. And then six days later, on May 20th, he hit the first two home runs of his record 55 that he clubbed over 1999 and the 2000 seasons. Thanks for watching this month in curve history. Next time, we'll take a look at the top moments in the month of June.